Let's go. We'll eat myrtle grass during the hungry gap. What? Got anything interesting? Let's go!
ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. Come on. Turn customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me what you got. Now you can wallow in your muck. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches. But I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? Uh, I'll let it go half free. Let me have a look at your stock.
take care. With like might and fair and tear out the garden. Hellraiser. Hell Razor. Damn deer have stripped the bark off my trees again. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. Things do the fighting. Peasants do the dying. God's eye above, Emperor far away. That griffin's over. Durban now. It's raining and pouring and Burmere's roaring. He must be Give me a slingshot. Gonna hunt bears. Got a lump of bread today. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle is turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill. Can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant, what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't take care of it, that is, it'll come kill me daughter. I feel for you, but this is my job, so let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. That settles it, then. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. 
Please. Faster. Last time I'd lend out anything on the world. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night of all the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. He was standing at the window, peering at the goings on. He must have been. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Now he sees you listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? A four door. Another rode up to the hut, but come on, only the first fella left, locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him, and me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose, but I've no other. Will you help me, dearie, bring an old widow or pan? I could never break down that door myself, and in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. <laughs> Stench. 
his throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. What's that? Cracked monocle. Interesting. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going bar me. Documents almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Ah, a priceless frying pan. Hm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny, for the road. Fry up a nice white fish for supper. Or a pipe. That's it, Roach.
Kerzayer! 